In this video, I'll show you a simple method to IRL stream from your phone with seamless switching back to desktop streams and the option for bonding multiple connections. You can skip ahead if you aren't interested in the initial explanation. So this is how you would usually stream uh, from your desktop running OBS or whatever direct to Twitch using a protocol called RTMP. Now, what we do uh, to switch to IRL streaming instantly is stream from a phone to a relay in the cloud and then back to your normal desktop from the cloud. The cloud relay simplifies the process as it means you don't need to worry about port forwarding your computer or setting up a static IP address. Also, the relay enables you to use the SRTLA protocol which combines multiple internet connections while streaming to improve quality and stability. We'll start by subscribing to the Cloud Relay. I'd recommend this one, which I'll link in the description by IRL Hosting. From the home page, look at the top headers and click on Relay Endpoints. From here, you want to find the box labeled SRT SRTLA and click the blue Get Started Now button. Under location, you want to select the server closest to where you'll be IRL streaming from. And then click the blue button, which will take you to your cart, and you can check out and then pay. Once you've subscribed, you should be able to see your new relay under your active products and services in the client area of IRL hosting. You can click on your new endpoint relay hosting service, and that will take you to this page. Here you can find the OBS ingest. You want to copy this and now go to OBS. Setting up your OBS is very simple. All you have to do is create a media source, uncheck local file, and paste into the input field your ingest URL. First, I'll cover how to stream from an iPhone. Go to the App Store. Then search for Moblin, M-O-B-L-I-N. Install the app. And once it's installed, you can go to the IRL hosting client area. Here you should be able to find this blue button to add automatically to Moblin. You should be sent to the Moblin app and after accepting those permissions, Click the gear icon in the top right, click on streams, and you should see IRL hosting cloud. Clicking on this, if you scroll down, you can add your login or channel name and ID for your streaming platforms so you can have chat on screen for the streaming phone. Before you fully exit out, don't forget to turn on the toggle for IRL hosting cloud. And now you should be ready to go live. As you can see, I'm now live and it's being displayed on my OBS. If you want to go live from an Android phone, go to the Play Store, search for IRL Pro and install this one. Once it's installed, go to the IRL hosting client area and look for your SRT relay. There should be a blue button to add automatically to IRL Pro. This will take you into IRL Pro where you need to accept some permissions and then it should be set up ready to stream. If you want to see chat on screen, Go to the settings, click on streamer, and then type your Twitch username. Hit the button in the center to go live. And as you can see, I'm now live and it's appearing on my OBS.
Now that you've got IRL Pro or Moblin set up and everything's working, there's a couple extra things I like to do. First of all, you should definitely have some text on the screen to show when you've lost connection. It can be something simple like this message, and you just want to make sure that this is underneath your media source in your sources list. That way, if the media source is showing, the text will be hidden, and if the media source cuts out, the text will be visible. If you have any overlays that you want to be visible while the stream is running, make sure to put them above the media source. For instance, I have a chat overlay and I have a little bitrate overlay. And that is pretty much it. That's everything you need. This should work seamlessly and you can switch to any other OBS scenes whenever you get home to your desktop. Or you can use chat commands using something like Streamerbot to control your OBS from chat.